Hello everyone. In today's video, we will see how does an email server work. For that, first of all, we need to take certain network devices. So first of all, we will take two PCs. You can take one PC and one laptop. Then we, along with that, we require certain network devices. Let's take one switch that will connect these two devices. Then after that, we have to take one server also. Now that server will be available to us somewhere in the end devices. Go to the end devices, select a server and place it in the area, work area so that you can connect them. Then you have to connect them with one another. Both the PCs or the laptops, the end devices will be connected with that of the switch and further the server will be connected with that of the switch with, wi with which you will be sending the data further. Now, going to this server, first of all, let's see how do you change the name of this server from the by default name to email server. So once you change this name here, you can see the name got changed in the display also. Then you have to go to the desktop and along with that, you need to assign IP address to the server. So I am taking the IP address 192.168.5.2. Then you need to click on the subnet mask. And along with that, copy this IP address also. Once you are done with it, now let's go and do the IP configuration for the PCs. Click on the first PC, go to the configuration or you can go to the desktop setting there in the IP configuration go and in the IPv4 assign the IP address from the same class. So earlier the IP address that was taken for the server was 192.168.5.2 so you can choose any other IP address and subnet mask will appear by itself once you click on the second text box. Close it Similarly, now you need to go to the second laptop here, go to the desktop setting, go to IP configuration, assign the IP address 5.5, .5, subnet mask, close it. With this, we are done with the basic IP address configuration to all these devices which we have used. That is why these arrows have turned green now. It means the connections are in place. Now we need to assign this server a service with which it, it can send the email to the devices or with which uh, the different devices can access the mails and forward the data. Uh, then you need to go to the services. In the services, you need to choose the domain name from which you want to send the mail. So I'm choosing cisco.com and you need to click on the set. And then along with that, you have to set the username also. I'll take it as, uh, let's take it as user1 and the password as test at the rate 123. And then you need to click on this plus button. Then the second user you can take as user2 and the password will be test at the rate 123. You can add press. With this, we have now created two usernames, user1 and user2. And you need to ensure that SMTP service as well as the POP3 service is enabled on this email server. Once you are done with it, you just cross it. Now go to this first PC. On this first PC, we will configure the email of the first user. Let's take the name as test, which was taken there. And the email that you will be assigning to this will be user1 at the rate cisco.com and the incoming server was 192.168.5.2 this is the IP address of the this email server that we created now for the simplicity the incoming mail server as well as the outgoing mail server is also same in case you choose the different outgoing mail server then you need to put up that IP address here in the username you will put up as user1 and the password was 
test at the rate 1, 2, 3. Then you save it. Now, once you are done with it, repeat the same process on the second device. The name can be taken as user1, sorry, user2. And the email address for this was user2 at the rate cisco.com. And the incoming server is 192.168.5.2. And the outgoing mail server is 192.168.5.2. And the username again is user2. And the password for that is test at the rate 123. And then you save it. With this, now we have configured two email IDs on two different devices. This is for user 1 and this is for user 2. Now let's try to send the email from one user to another one. For that, you need to go to email again, compose. And in the 2, you will be sending the mail to user 2 at the rate cisco.com. This is test email. And you can write any subject, you can write any body. Hi, how are you? This is a test email. And then after you're done with it, you need to send here. Once you send it, you can see the status is going from here, right? Uh, and to receive the email, you need to click receive here. Now, as the mail was sent from user1 to user2, so we need to go to the second device laptop and check out whether the mail is received or not. See, here you have not, you can see that there is no mail received as if now. Once you click on receive, you will see the email that we created from this PC. It has been received here. And this email can be replied back also. Hi, user one. I'm doing well. How about you? Now press send. Now you have sent one email from user two to user one. Now let's go to user one again. Go to email and click on receive. Once you receive, you will see the reply that was generated from your PC2 or you can say laptop 0 which was taken here. So this is how your email server works with the help of SMTP and POP3. If you want to know the uh, how does this PKT file work, you can put it in the comments. I'll share the PKT file link with you from GitHub. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.